Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 18 Ultimate Team update for you guys. Today we got some brand new information actually coming from Twitter. This is from Mutt Guru, who is a known big time Browns fan. And obviously guys, if you don't know, this past weekend there was a big injury in the NFL and it happened with Joe Thomas, the left tackle for the Cleveland Browns. Arguably, in my opinion, the best offensive lineman of this generation. When I say this generation, I'm talking like the past 15 years, probably. Probably the best left tackle, at least in that era. With I don't think there's any question at, at this point. But Joe Thomas definitely has been elite basically his entire career. And he also had a streak of consecutive snaps that was broken this weekend at 10,363 consecutive snaps. He had been on the field for every single Browns offensive play of his 11-year career up until that point. He did, I believe he tore his triceps, if I remember correctly. It was a really weird, fluky situation. Almost looked like he was like trying to push someone after the play and somehow injured his arm. Like I don't know exactly what happened, but it was a very bizarre situation he was writhing on the ground in pain and the Browns did announce today that his season is over so unfortunately the Browns will be without Joe Thomas as if they needed things to get any worse there in Cleveland but um, obviously the Browns don't really have a whole lot going for them this season and it's cool to see that EA is actually going to be hooking them up their fans at least up with a pretty cool card this is actually a career tribute card I guess I'm not really sure what they're calling it. I guess it doesn't say career tribute tribute but that's essentially what it is um, of Joe Thomas pretty much in my opinion the best left tackle card in this game maybe the best pure offensive lineman in this game to be honest with you you look at the attributes kind of across the board here those run block and pass block attributes are both elite 90 run block very very good 93 pass block is amazing impact block at a 93 that is amazing as well those are really the three attributes that we care about for offensive line everything else including strength is essentially irrelevant so don't fall into the trap of worrying about those things, but um, obviously, if you do care about them for whatever reason, he does have good attributes pretty much across the board for all of those things as well. Uh, so yeah, I mean, obviously, again, 93 pass block, 90 run block, those are the two main attributes we care about. There are a couple of cards that are maybe a little bit better than that, like if you go in and you look at the Jack Conklin, the uh, powered up tier four version of Jack Conklin does have 94 pass block and 90 run block, but obviously, you know, that card's not something that you can purchase on the auction block. Um, the, the base card of it, though, the Mutt Hero version of Jack Conklin, the, the non-powered up one, that one is actually starting off with a 94 pass block and an 89 run block. And currently that one's going for about right around 400,000 coins. I would expect that that maybe is going to drop just a little bit as people try and get this Joe Thomas, but that kind of gives you at least a rough idea of where this card is probably going to be priced. I don't see any reason why it would be substantially more than that, other than the fact that it is a limited edition card, which is kind of cool, or at least a limited time card, I should say. I, I should specify that because it's not based on the amount of them that are pulled. This is actually going back to a couple years ago um, where we just had you know cards based on they were only in packs for a certain period of time so like let's say a 24 hour version or a 48 hour version we don't know exactly how long this one's going to be in packs for actually i would guess 48 hours but i don't know that for sure um there also hasn't been an official announcement that this is in packs quite yet and i haven't seen anyone pull it yet so I would recommend being careful until you actually see either someone post that they pulled it or obviously if EA uh, comes out on their Twitter account and announces it, then obviously you're not going to know it's in packs or if Mutt Guru does. We'll try and keep up that information. If you follow me on Twitter over at Clickwood TV, I'll probably retweet it if I see it. But, you know, obviously that, that's kind of the way that we're looking at things here. I, I'm assuming 24 hour or 48 hour, most likely 48 hours that this will be in packs for. It'll probably go for about 350 to 400,000 coins somewhere in that range could be a little bit more right away as people are trying to get a limited edition card or a limited time card that you're not gonna be able to get all season so that's something to consider of course uh but obviously they're gonna be better offensive linemen as, as the year goes on so do keep that in mind one other thing that i did want to point out it's a little bit weird to me that joe thomas got this card and and again I think Joe Thomas is the best offensive lineman of this generation, so it's not like I'm shitting on Joe Thomas or anything, but you look at like Antonio Gates, for example. This dude earlier this season broke the all-time touchdown record for tight ends. That 
is higher than any of the top tight ends ever. We're talking like Tony Gonzalez, Shannon Sharp, like all those type of guys. He has more touchdowns than any of them. What did Antonio Gates get? Absolutely nothing. So I think that's a little bit weird. Obviously, there is some, um, I don't want to say homerism necessarily, but certainly some love for the Browns from people like Mutt Guru over at the EA headquarters. So I'm sure that's kind of why this happened. But it is a little bit weird that some of these other players that clearly deserve cards don't get them. But then Joe Thomas does when he gets injured. So anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this card. And let me know if you guys like the idea of limited time cards coming back. I definitely do. I think it's great for the whole community. It's great to have more stuff to pull in packs. So yeah, let me know, guys. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.